Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Join us for a walking tour of the beach from the dunes to a mangrove estuary. Would you believe that the mangroves help stabilize Florida's coastline ecosystem and prevent erosion? Let's learn all about resiliency to keep our coastline thriving. Hi, we're here at Von D. Meisel Eula Johnson State Park, and we're here at the beach, but we're gonna take you through some other habitats on the coast that are very important to Florida, starting here at the dune and going into the mangrove estuary. Eric, uh, do you wanna tell us a little bit about what we're seeing as we walk here? Yeah, so we're here in the dune ecosystem, which is the part of the beach that goes way above where the water is. As you can see, it's still a lot of sand around, so we're very much still on the beach, and over here we'll see a lot of very unique plants. So over there on right where the edge of the dune is, you can see a bunch of sea oats. Those only grow on here in the dune ecosystem and we call them sea oats because they look just like wheat. And actually over here we also have some sea grapes. Again, these only grow in the dune ecosystem and they look just like grapes if you see them. People definitely eat these. I, I know some people make jam out of them, but personally I really wouldn't want to eat them, but you could. And another cool thing about sea grapes is that their leaves are really big and when dried out they can actually be written on. If I had a pen I would show you, but this is ancient paper basically. So yeah, pretty cool sea grapes. So as of all plants, sea oats and sea grapes have a lot of roots and these roots go into the ground and they hold the sand together and that prevents all the sand from being washed out to the ocean. So we've walked over the dune and now we are in this kind of brackish water uh, creek and this is habitat is called a mangrove estuary. So what are we looking at here in a mangrove estuary? Right, so again, an estuary is where rivers meet the ocean and this is one of the most important ecosystems to wildlife and the ocean in general. And that's because as you can see, or I can't really see, but you can see that the soil is really, really dark and that is because all the sand is very, very rich with nutrients from things coming from the land. And th these will eventually go into the ocean and give food for all the plants that live in there and fertilize them. And the other important reason is, again, as a nursery. So as you can see, this water is very, very shallow. So big predators such as your sharks, your tarpon, your tuna, they can't get in here. So estuaries are really, really good places for baby fish to hide in the shelter. As you can see, there are plenty of places for them to hide. We're at low tide right now, but when it's high tide, they can hide in those mangrove roots over there. And that provides really, really good shelter from things like birds, fish, and other things like that. Even big fish like barracuda have their babies in here. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I'll see a little baby barracuda or puffer fish in here. Uh, yeah. So what exactly is a mangrove? Right, so a mangrove is a type of plant, and here in Florida we have three main types. So the one most people would be familiar with is this over here, this is a red mangrove. And you can tell that it's a red mangrove because the branches, A, they are arcing, they are the ones that go across the water like that, and they're also a reddish color. And the other thing that makes red mangroves mangroves, or red I guess, is that their leaves hang over the water. So now one of the biggest challenges that plants like these and the sea oats and the sea grapes have is dealing with the salt that's in the water. And these mangrove species have evolved very different ways of getting rid of the salt because that could be toxic for plants growing. One of the ways in which red mangroves get rid of the salt is using leaves like this. So as you can see, red mangroves have their leaves hanging over the water and what they do is that they put all the salt into certain leaves called sacrificial leaves and when they're full of salt like this yellow one they just drop into the water and that ends up giving back nutrients so that's how red mangroves deal with salt and another thing that you can tell a red mangrove by is the fact that they have these roots or they're not really roots actually so these are their seeds so the way red mangroves reproduce is these seeds, when they're ripe, they'll drop and they'll sink into the sediment with this pointy end here, and then from there a new mangrove will grow. So there are actually three main types of mangroves here in Florida. There's red, white, and black. And I think over here we can see some white mangroves. So even though these are hanging over the water, I know I said that, but these are actually white mangroves. And the way you can tell that they are white mangroves is by looking at the base of their leaves 
and I'm trying to find a good example. But basically, at the base of their leaves, they'll have these two little knobs. So white mangrove, knobs on tight. And that's where they store the salt that they eventually get rid of. And the last type of mangrove is called the black mangrove. And those tend to be further on the land, these stalagmite looking things. And these are actually snorkel roots. So they have evolved a way to breathe while under water. So these act like snorkels and give the plants energy and oxygen to grow. So we've talked a lot about the different types of mangroves, but why are they important? So other than giving nutrients and having shelter for baby fish, mangroves are also really important for holding soil and the sand together. So as you can see over here on these red mangrove roots, they are basically holding the soil together and this will protect the coasts because it stretches all the way up to the ocean and it'll prevent, it'll keep this land together and stop it from, you know, just all washing out to the ocean. And again, this is really important to maintain this ecosystem. Excellent. Well, thank you for showing us all around uh, the mangrove estuary and the importance of this uh, habitat on uh, the spawning and protection of a lot of different species and our general coastal resiliency uh, here in places like Florida. So we hope you learned a lot and we'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, MOD's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with MODS by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.